Hello again, and welcome to the latest bulletin from Haverhill UK News, brought to you by Haverhill TV. In the news for today, Tuesday, April the 9th, police warn retailers after East European gang tries a distraction theft from a town centre shop. The town's MP is to co-host an export trade fair in Haverhill later this month. And officers dealing with homelessness are asking private tenants to take part in a survey of their experiences. Police have warned retailers to be on their guard after an attempted distraction theft in a shop in Haverhill on Saturday. Five people, described as being of East European appearance, attempted to steal from the till by distracting a staff member at Zeiss Clothing Store in Queen Street. Police were called and were on the scene almost immediately from the nearby police station, but the people had left empty-handed. There were three men and two women, the women with long black hair and dressed in what police described as traditional Romanian dress, long and black. PCSO Kayla Packman said they wanted retailers to be aware that thieves might be operating in the area. And police are, would also like to talk to the owner of a large sandy-coloured dog which bit a passerby in Queen Street on Saturday lunchtime. A woman was bitten in the thigh as she was walking along the street and passed a man with a dog. She confronted the man, but he denied the incident and walked away. The woman, herself a dog trainer, suffered a large bruise from the bite and PCSO Packman said it was a nasty injury and they asked dog owners to muzzle their dogs in public if they bite. She said dog owners knew if their dogs bit and they needed to take care for the safety of their dog and the public. She herself received a nasty bite on the finger while delivering information leaflets several weeks ago and said people who knew their dogs was a biter should put a sign warning others. Haverhill's MP Matthew Hancock is hosting an export event together with Braintree MP Brooks Newmark to take place in Haverhill later this month. The event is supported by UK Trade and Investment and UK Export Finance and will enable those who attend to hear more about the benefits of international trade and how government departments can help their companies. The lunchtime event will be held at LMK Thermosafe Limited in Haverhill on Friday, April the 19th between 11.30 and 2pm. Anyone interested in attending can email Helen Dudley on helen.dudley at parliament.uk. Matthew said export would make a huge contribution to UK growth prospects over the coming years. The East of England was doing its bit, almost one pound in every ten pounds of goods currently exported from the UK coming from this region. But it could do more, and this event was designed to help people find out how. And now for some of your comments this week in our regular feature, Sound Off. Some of you have been looking already at the nominations for the County Council elections next month, but you don't seem too keen on any of the candidates. JXB says, Elections. Usual lot of cronies trying to get in again from the political parties, all nominating or proposing each other, even for outside their area, as not enough seats in their own area. Hal Revy writes, The Kangal Ward is fascinating, with well-known names that folks love or hate. The UKIP nominee lives in Coney Weston, which will certainly be held against him. I would struggle to pick a candidate to represent me in the Kangal Ward. Fred says, surely the most important thing is to vote for the people who are going to best represent Haverhill at county level. I only know the candidates that already sit on our town council. I'd be more inclined to go for these folk as they've already shown they care about our town as they're serving for free, just giving their time. The others, are they too good for the town council? Some of you think the Burton Centre fight is a lost cause after last week's planning approval. Hal Revy says... Time for the Town Council to stop its challenge to the Burton Centre and look for alternative sites. I personally agree with the Town Council, but this is a fight that they are certain to lose. They should issue a statement and bow out gracefully. And as agrees, saying, we can't keep all the focus on this forever. It's wrong, but like you said, the chances of the Town Council winning are slim. Remember, 
If you would like to add your comments on any Haverhill issue, go to the message boards on www.haverhilluk.co.uk and click on the local issues board. We'd love to hear from you. And finally, we've all seen how the private rental market has grown in recent years as people invest their savings in property and buy to let. But how does this affect the tenants? St Edmundsbury and Forest Heath District Councils are carrying out a survey to help their housing professionals, whose job it is to fight homelessness in West Suffolk. It's an online survey and the information gained will be used to create tenancies for those in urgent housing need. The confidential survey is being run by the West Suffolk Lettings Partnership, part of the Joint Housing Service of Forest Heath and St Edmundsbury Councils, which created 30 tenancies in the private rented sector since it was established in November. If you are already renting in the private sector, or if you are looking to rent there, you can give details of what it has been like for you by visiting the Forest Heath or St Edmundsbury Council websites, or going to Facebook backslash WS Lettings Partnership, or Twitter at WS Lettings. That's all for today, but join us again on Friday, and meanwhile keep in touch by following us on Twitter. Is spring here at last? Here is the week's weather.